What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ghetto back at you. And today, what I want to do is show you how to use the Machine MK3 as a MIDI controller for MPC Beats. Follow me. For you to do this the first thing that you need to do is go to the akai website which i have pulled up right here and you want to go to uh find this right here new mpc beats mpc live or for whatever device you have if you just have the mpc software you should still have this so you want to look for this and you want to get mpc2 software controller editor templates native instrument controllers and make sure that you download that once you download that you want to extract the software and save it to a location on your computer uh, wherever you want to put it i happen to have saved it in my downloads folder and this is what it is that you'll get so you get controllers for all types of different uh machine devices whether it's the machine mk3 mk2 machine micro so on and so forth so we want to make sure you know where you have that saved at and know where you have it extracted because we have to come back to it uh shortly now the next thing you want to do is go to your machine mk3 and you want to have to put it in midi controller mode and how you do that is on the machine mk3 you hold down the shift button and you press the channel midi button and it will switch the machine into standalone MIDI control mode. Now from there, the next thing you want to do is open up the machine MIDI editor. What that looks like. And it's actually called the machine control editor. I misspoke on that. So you want to open that up. And this is what you will have right here. This is the machine uh, control editor. And it's on the default template, which is template one, which is what you see on the machine controller now. This is exactly what uh, the default template looks like. And at this point, it will not control anything on the MPC. What we have to do is go to File, Open Template. And then from there, you'll go to where you have your uh, templates downloaded and saved to. Um, I already have it because I've already done it before. It already automatically went to that location but you'll want to browse to the location where you have these controller templates saved at and you want to uh and you want to click MPC machine MK3 so that template you want to open that now once you open that as you can see immediately everything on the machine controller turns red to basically match the design scheme of the MPC so now everything is set. Now, once you've done that, you can close the machine MIDI editor. And the next thing you'll want to do is open up your MPC Beat software. So let's do that now. Now we have the MPC Beat software open. We'll go to an empty project. Um, you can open up a pre-existing project if you want. It doesn't matter. So now you'll want to go to your MIDI Learn or your MIDI editor inside the MPC Beat software, which is at the bottom right corner. You want to click that and it'll bring up uh, the MIDI Learn menu. I already have it enabled, and as you can see, it's connected to the Akai MPK Mini 2. Now, in order to change that, all you have to do is click that, go to Factory. Um, we're going to go down to Native Instruments and we're going to select Native Instruments Machine MK3. Now, that's one step. There is another step that you need to do in order to get this to work. Now, before I do that, what I'm gonna do is open up a drum program so that I can demonstrate it. Now, as you can see, Hitting the pads on the MK3 do nothing at this point. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go to the MPC Beats menu. You go down to Preferences. 
inside that menu, we're gonna go to MIDI sync. From there, you'll wanna go to machine MK3. And what you wanna do, there's two of them. There's a the machine MK3, and then there's the machine MK3 virtual input. The one you want is the virtual input, and you wanna make sure that that is set to control. Now, once you have that set to control, you are good to go. You can hit OK, and now your machine MK3 will control the MPC Beat software. Now, there is a couple of things that I want to note to make sure that you know before doing this. On the machine MK3, all of the buttons that are lit up do have functions inside the MPC software. For instance, the arranger goes to track view. Plugin instance on the machine goes to the program edit. The mixer goes to the channel mixer. The browser button opens and closes the browser window on the right side of the MPC beat screen. Uh, the sampling button obviously goes to the sampler. Let me see. The note repeat button does work. Um, play start, all those uh, functions work. These buttons do go to your pad banks. So it does uh, rotate you through the different pad banks and it works pretty quickly. So I'm just uh, pressing a lot of these buttons just to show you that they do work. Uh, this is the main mode button, sample edit. So all the buttons that are highlighted actually, actually do work. Now, what I do want to mention to make sure that people do know, the Q links or the encoders on the MK3 are a bit sluggish comparing them to the MPC Q links. So for instance, uh, the program level Q link, as you can see it going up and down uh, inside the MPC beat software, it's stuttering a little bit. It's not a smooth incline or decline. And if you do it on the MPC Q links, it's a much smoother uh, transition as you can tell. So all of the encoders on the machine MK3 work kind of in a herky-jerky kind of way like that. So it's a little quirky, but they do work. They just don't work up to the MPC standards. And there you have it. That is how you use the Native Instruments Machine MK3 as a MIDI controller for the MPC Beat software. Thank me later. I'm out. <laughs>